Kinda. Welcome to El Moro. Okay, good Petro walking Petro shoes. Gift. Petroglyphs left by people who lived here more than 700 years ago. Really? Okay. Well, you, you just... Would you I all rather, rather speak outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Because I didn't bring my mask. No problem. How are you all doing today? Pretty good. Age. Very good to hear. About taking a walk today? Yes. yes. Great. So there's a couple of different choices for you. Okay. The short and sweet inscription loop, inscription loop, excuse me, is a three quarter mile hike that takes you to a lot of our park highlights in a relatively short amount of time. Okay. The first thing of interest you'll see is this. Well, that was quite interesting. This is the second national monument in the country. Yeah. El Moro. That is interesting. Man. Yep. Like out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yep. We are about 60 miles from our RV park in Gallup, New Mexico. At El Moro National Monument. Kathy's taking me on another exciting, exciting hike. The challenging two mile hike around the rim up here. We'll see some petroglyphs too. All right, okay. We are doing the trail. It does say go either way there. Yeah. You know, if you wanted to end on the stairs, right? That'd be a good way to end up coming down those stairs. Yeah. You can smell the pines. It's pretty though. Yeah. We've been steadily going uphill since we left the visitor center. There's the steps. <laughs> Get us to the top of the, whatever you call that, butte or the canyon. Yeah, coming up the incline's worse than this. Yeah. All right. And they put a chair right there for us. Oh, there we go. I'm like, where do you go? But there's this thing. <laughs> yeah, to mark it. Pretty shot in New Mexico, huh? Yeah. It doesn't seem like we walked that far, but we did. Look down there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. Pretty country. Okay, let the adventure begin, I guess, up, to, up around the rim. Come on now. There you go. Yeah, good to have more grippy shoes here. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's bad having, to, yeah, bad having to fight all these crowds, isn't it? Oh, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you forgot about that, eh? Well, that's good. We don't have to climb up that rock. It is pretty. Mm -hmm. What is that? For more than one set up there. Well, that's okay. It's easier. Than, Going up these sheer cliffs, that's for sure. This one was a little bit longer. Oh, they just keep right on going. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice views, though. Look at this. I could have worn my shorts. Oh, that was a long one. Yeah. These are little baby steps. All yeah. you go ahead. 
<laughs> so the baby lead the way. Okay. And they just keep on going. Man. Whew. Where those houses come from? Looks like there's more steps around the turn up here. Maybe not so far. Oh man. <laughs> yep. Well, up this hill too. Yeah. More little steps here. Incline. Well, still going up, but we're almost at the top of it. Look at this. Yep. Beautiful views. Oh yeah. Behind us. Oh man. So pretty. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's get this cliff over here. What cliff? That cliff right oh, there. behind us? <laughs> yeah, behind us. That's where we started. <laughs> I don't know what it's there with the sun there, but anyway. Well, good. I can catch my breath now. <laughs> this is a good little walk now. Yeah, so we'll start coming down. Eh? Yep. Well, we're still going up a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is the beginning of the. And it, the trail goes around and loops back. How old are these? Uh, I want to say 700 years. Old. Man. Yeah, I guess I don't need to Man. Look at that. On the rock. Hmm. Yeah, it was a sizable town. 800 rooms. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Just stay on the white. We go down here. Right, no, I'm trying yeah. to be then we get just... down there. I'm just trying to find the path. Yeah. A little Pretty bit bad. of scrambling on them, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know where we go from here. Might be following the right trail. I don't know. The line's going this way. I guess we must loop around. Yeah, looks like dirty, soapy water, doesn't it? I can't see what I'm filming here. Must be the right way then. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, there's the. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, they put little lines here, but you're kind of hard to see them. I can see the rock stacks over there. Yeah, how do you get over there? That's not good on your knees or a bed. No. Okay. Looks like they went right through there. But the water's in the way. Okay. Put the camera away. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> Where are we going, babe? <laughs> that doesn't look like the right trail. Maybe through here as people come in that way. No. We're gonna go back. <laughs> now, we were way up there. Took a wrong turn. That's par for the course. Somebody's been taking a bath there. Man, look at this. What'd you see, babe? I'm just still dumbfounded about how we're going over here. <laughs> the visitor is sent us that way. Like, is that a different trail or are we going that way? Oh, God. I'm here. following you. Well, pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how they just drew lines through the rock here. Follow the line. He was looking at me, not you. Are you sure you can do this two mile strenuous hike? No. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm? Well, hmm. Keep climbing up. What are you looking at? <laughs> We're not even halfway yet, eh? Where are we going? Over here? I guess so. Yeah, I can't go through the water, so I have to go this way. Man. Alright, put the camera up. Scramble down. Whoa. Come on. Pretty rugged. Man, look at this. Man. See the trail? Behind the car.
so a bit. Oh, we gotta go that way. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Well, we're, we're over halfway now. <laughs> Hopefully about two-thirds. Man, look at this. This looks a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Man. What's it called? Yeah, that's something. That's where we were when we got almost lost, right? Yeah, straight over there. Somewhere on that side. I kept going, where are the people over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we got some pretty views. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Never seen so many cactuses. Cacti. Man, I wouldn't want to fall down in that. <laughs> Pretty. I mean, this they just packed in here. Look at this. I haven't ever seen so many cactuses. Everywhere. <laughs> Man. Okay, stay on the trail. I mean, they're everywhere. On both sides. Now, looks like we're getting ready to go back down. Put your Jake brakes on, babe. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call circle back. Well, they got this little rock out here for you to stand on. Huh? No? <laughs> this is really a nice trail. Look at that switch back there. <laughs> Turn. Good. I'm gonna have to catch up. You lead me. I'll lose my way, but I'm an engine scout. Hey, get down there. You got to do another switch back. Man, that one's even worse. Well, it looks worse than it is, I guess, eh? <laughs> I can hear them. Are those bees or? Yeah, down to the bottom. I can't really 
Let's see. Lieutenant Simpson, yes. 1849. of New Mexico for the King our Lord passed by here in 1620. In 1620? See, it says 1620. My gosh. He yeah, left I can't them in see. peace. The Zunis. He left them in peace at their request, asking his favor as vassals of his majesty. They again rendered their obedience. He did all this with attention, zeal, and prudence. Christian gentleman and gallant soldier. In 1620, man. Here's a fun inscription that invites us to imagine what may have happened. The first two lines of the inscription read, the 14th day of July, 1736, General Juan oh, Hurtado Inspector passed by here. Underneath it, it reads, and in his company, Corporal Joseph. True evil. True. Nope. How old is this one? This one. August 5th, 1629. This is the Man. Lord and Governor Don Francisco Manuel da Silva Nieto came this far with our Lord King's wagons. With his indubitable arm and valor, he has already overcome the impossible, a thing which he alone accomplished. 5 August 1629. Look at this from 1737. Zuni. That is really something. Well, and we got a few more steps. What's number 17, babe? <laughs> 17 is from 1716. And after leaving the inscription, Governor Martinez and interim governor found the Hopi unwilling to accept Spanish domination. Man, all kind of inscriptions here. How'd they get way up there, I wonder? <laughs> Man, look at that, 1871. <laughs> Well, I can't see hers. I was going to say it's so. This is really, really something. Look at the straight up cliffs here. We were up there just a few minutes ago. Are we coming from the higher glass yet? Eighteen, eighteen thirty-two, Clark. Well, I guess it can say eighteen fifty-eight, sixteen ninety-two. Man, I can't see what I'm zooming on, but oh well. Eighteen sixty. Some stars, crosses, petroglyphs, and a cavalry flag. 1859. Oh, oh yeah. I wish I had my zoom camera so I could see what I'm doing here. That one's right in the tail. Governor Don Juan 
the Onate passed through here from the discovery of the Sea of the South on the 16th of April, 1605. That plaque is still at 1605? That's what they're I see it right there, 1605. Yep. Man. These no, are petroglyphs, aren't no, they? Notice the petroglyphs, particularly the big, big horn sheep and the bear paw. Where's the bear paw? The sheep's right there. Oh, yeah. Where's the bear paw? Two sheep. Wish I could see what I'm zooming on. Maybe you'll see it later. I still don't see yeah. the bear paw, but... His visit was followed by turbulent, turbulent times. Mexico gained independence from Spain in 1821. Then this U.S.-American War, Mexican War, 1846 to 48. Whoa! Hmm. Hmm. You see an inscription? Oh, over here. Yeah. yeah. The ladder up there with Indians. Wow. Yep. Here's that. Looks like pretty good sized living room. <laughs> yeah. That's something. Wow, and chiseled this elegant looking inscription. Remember of the Northland expedition. Are those petroglyphs too? And there's the description. Yeah, they're interspersed with inscriptions. So the people who did the inscriptions just went over the petroglyphs, huh? Yeah. And here's America, Francis Bay. Hmm. Oh, Fresno County, California. This is just. Through it. Like in the early days when people could walk or ride their horses around in circumstances. Yeah. It's not a real big pool, but no. really something. Man. It's funny they got cocktails here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. Yeah. A little bit steep. Just about concludes the hike. One more thing, babe. El Moro. Yeah. No. That's where we started, and they've closed the trail now. Too late to. Do the hike. Maybe I don't have a mask. You think I can run through there real quick? Huh? Virgies. Since 1960, we ended up here by default because our first choice was closed for a private event. And this is right within a mile of the campground. Good. What we got here, babe? Virgie's beef stew. I don't know what I want. 
two dollars and fifty cents that little. You don't get it for free like no. you normally do. You and they're stale. They're stale and they're not salted. No. Oh well. Oh yum. <laughs> <laughs> that is my big salad. It's big. No tomatoes, it's just lettuce. It's filled, filled with tomatoes and onions and all kinds of goodies, yeah. right? Yeah. No, it's a bad stuff from Walmart. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Did you want ketchup? Kind of a thick. No, I don't want to ketchup. How's yours look? It looks good. Looks good.